class. Today our lesson is the elements and principles of design. By the end of our lesson, we're going to be able to identify at least two elements and principles of design in an artwork using correct vocabulary. You're going to use at least two elements and principles of design to create your own drawing. And you're going to explain how at least two elements and principles of design reveal meaning in a work of art. Our academic content standards are to identify and point out visual art and design elements and principles in your artworks and in those of others using art vocabulary. We're also going to use selected art and design elements and principles to explore ideas, feelings, and relationships. Finally, we're going to describe how elements and principles communicate meaning in works of art. So elements and principles of design are the building blocks used to create a work of art. So if you'll come on up, we, if we tap one of these, it'll tell us what our first element of design is line. So why don't you come on up and reveal another element. Okay, so our next one is shape. We also have size, texture, space, value, and color. Go back. The elements of design can be thought of as the things that make up a painting or drawing, and most works of art contain these elements of design. So one element of design, one principle of design, is contrast. Can you come on up. Another one is unity. We have balance, emphasis, pattern, and movement. Go back to the principles of design can be thought of as what we do with the elements of design. How we apply the principles of design determines how successful we are in creating a work of art. Okay, so this is a little video. Okay, and I'll post this smart board presentation online so you can play around with this website at home if you want to or during recess time. But it has all the elements and principles of design. So we'll look at line. We click on it. Thick. Thin. Straight. and they use line to recreate a famous piece of art by Franz Marc. 
And so now we'll go ahead and click Find. And you can come over here. Can I have a student come up, please? Go ahead and you just drag these over. So I'm going to drag one that says straight. And I'm going to identify that there's a straight line. Can you find a thick line? Great, thank you. Why don't you identify one more? Great job. While you're up here, go ahead and hit the Create button. And why don't you make a little picture with a few lines? <coughs> So that's a really fun website that you can use to play around with the elements and principles of design. So there's a website on here that you can go to and it has some great information on it. You can just click on the words and it'll give you pictures and definitions. And I listed a few other websites and YouTube videos that you can use to explore the elements and principles of design. Okay, so we have a dice here, and when you click it, it'll roll, and an element or principle of design will come up. And so it came up with shape. So I'm going to find a shape here. And I see a nice triangle here. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that and place a triangle. Can I have a student come up a little bit like this? Okay, so we got a line. Go ahead and trace or circle some lines. into their category. So can someone tell me what value is? Element or principle? Uh, element. And emphasis? Principle. Line. Element. Texture? Element. Shape? Element. Color? Element. Element. Balance. Uh, principle. Movement. Element. Unity. Principle. Size. Oh, principle. And contrast. Uh, principle. Element. Okay. Let's try movement again. Principle. Mm. And pattern. Principle. Alright, much better. Alright, and for our final activity, I want you to come up and match the vocabulary words with their pictures. Good job. You have a seat. And that's it for today. Thank you, class. We'll see you next week.